is definitely the poem that is the most likely to make me enemies whenever I read it. Um, which is exactly why I try to read it at every slam venue. And I'm not going to introduce it beyond that. I got books over in the merch area too. Five to ten dollars suggested donation, but if you got more, that's cool. If you got less, talk to me and we'll make it happen. Because I want everyone to have it that wants it. <clears throat> cool. Everybody ready? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, clap now. Or, well, I guess clapping is over. <laughs> no, I, I feel like such a jerk. What I meant to say, I should have said that, I don't know, at the end or something? I don't know. I was going to say clap now because people might not want to clap for me later on. Um, but, yeah. So this poem is a message from the U.S. government to those who once cried for peace and now cry for protection. You dumb motherfuckers. I was beginning to think that every police bullet or weapon shipment overseas might be the one that convinced you guys I don't give a damn about human life. It was getting to the point where it wasn't even fun to drone some wrong time, wrong place schlubs into kingdom come anymore. Sure, it felt good to say fuck you to half the world, using Troy Davis's body as a billboard, but once it was over, all I could do is wonder if I'd actually shattered something as fragile as your trust in me to keep you safe. But you dumbasses never learn. I've known for a while that you people don't like violence, and thank Gandhi for that. It's been a blast keeping ambulances filled past capacity from Manila to Fallujah, while most of the only people at home that have a problem with it see fighting back as meditating fucking and telling me to stop. So yeah, you fucks wouldn't have guns in the first place, but goddamn, it always amazes me how eager you are to have them taken away from other people. Lord knows, you sorry ass clowns have got to be sick of having your asses handed to you every time you pick a fight with me, so I understand wanting to play with the winning team for once, but come on. You know I'm not going to throw those weapons away, right? I have the best collection your tax dollars can buy, and believe me, I don't keep that shit around to go hunting with. There's more than one kind of peace, you know. There's the peace of deciding not to beat the shit out of somebody, and then there's the peace that comes when you've beaten them into total submission, and the graveyards know damn well which kind I prefer. And for people to piss and moan so much about 1% of the population having who cares percent of the wealth, you seem all right with even less having all the real firepower. I know, you want to be safe. I can't keep you safe. That's not even my job. The active word in gun control isn't gun if you know what I mean. Motherfucker, if you thought the drug trade was scary, wait till you meet the black market arms trade. I've already picked the neighborhoods I'm building prisons on top of to store all these new orange collar employees working for the true minimum wage. Oh, but we gotta keep guns away from dangerous criminals, right? You dumbasses think I'd pass a background check? My record is legion. Kidnapping, human trafficking, continent-wide home invasions, bio-war, possession and use of WMD, arson, drug dealing, homicide terrorism, homicide terrorism, homicide terrorism, but hey, at least we drive limos instead of pickups and don't use words like y'all. Look, I know, I'm teasing you, but I think thanks are in order. Thank you for giving me more impunity than I already had. If Katrina was any preview of the things you can get away with doing to a disarmed population, then great things are on the horizon. When I kill next, what you gonna do about it? Get yourselves arrested? It would be an honor to haul you in. Know that from here on out, when we give you anything, we're not quaking in our boots. We're saving ourselves a headache. Know that everything you do, you do with my permission. But cheer up! You got to feel like you won for a change. And I, I found friends in the most unlikely places. For people that don't believe in guns, I never met a crowd so eager to shoot themselves in the foot. Mm. <laughs>